crazy rose. Got a whole big. I'm gonna show you the new and improved ecosystem. Hey, what is going on friends welcome back to another video if you have not already smash that subscribe button because new content is coming every single week so in this video today we are going to be turning my aquarium into an ecosystem what is an ecosystem I'll explain that to you on the way to the aquarium we need to go there to buy some stuff to make it an ecosystem so let's go a few moments later ecosystem is a self-sustaining system where Food is produced in the aquarium and food is eliminated within the system itself so right now my aquarium I feed the fishes and I remove the waste right so feed the fish fish produce waste I remove the waste with water changes now I'm not aiming to remove the feeding part I do enjoy that part and it is a lot harder to remove that but what I hope to achieve is to be able to remove the need for water changes and I know that given how heavily stocked my tank is I can't completely remove it in fact why I'm doing all this is because I have to change water once every five days and that's 60% of the water every five days that is quite a lot of work to do so it will help a tremendous amount if I can just get an ecosystem going and hopefully bring that number to once every 14 to 21 days all right we are here guys nanyang trading aquarium this is one of my go-to places huge stuff lots of accessories i won't be doing a tour today i will be doing a tour in the future but today we're here to grab some plants i'll be enjoying myself walking around but uh i'll just show you guys the plants part and uh let's go check it out look at the rows of accessories but this is for another video we're going right to the plants. Right to the plants, guys. Right to the plants. Stay focused. Stay focused. This is the rare red and white parrot fish. This guy looks so friendly. Oh. I want him. And you guys know, whenever I see a turtle, I gotta get it on camera. They have crazy rows of fishes if you want to see subscribe i will be doing a tour video of this whole place so remember subscribe look at the choices of plants they have oh man it's gonna be a hard choice i'll be getting one big java fern one medium size anubius and uh maybe two smaller java friends just to add more plants make it a little thicker so the different variations so for the floating plants i will be getting onward and frog all right guys so for 22 dollars we got a whole big bag of plants java ferns uh, i didn't get a hornwort in the end so i'll show you guys when you go back a little different plant i decided to go with and uh you know what i'm gonna have to check for grab because i'm a bit lazy to carry this bag grab share price was good so grab it is all right guys and we are back home i can't wait to get all the plants settled in um i'm gonna go take them out one by one show them to you guys out of the plastic so you get a good look at what plants i got and then i'll be skipping the thing and i'll show you the before and after java fern so a very hardy plant this plant um, i really have it in my tank at the back and my turtle does not eat it we have this anubius so you can see this so called more normal looking leaves these are also i haven't kept this before but i know that they're well known for not being tasty so fishers that like to eat plants they will not eat this plant and i got smaller java just to add 
to it um, different leaves this is the window loft leaf not sure if you can see it clearly yeah so you can see they sort of split at the end just some variation so it not, doesn't get too boring my two water plants this is frog bit and this is water lettuce I'm trying two different different ones because uh, I'm not sure if they will survive in the amount of surface agitation I have in my tank I'm not sure if my turtle will eat one or the other or both so I'm just varying it to increase my chances let's uh let's get to it just got done escaping the new tank it looks awesome lots of green um, first let me play you a clip of the old tank so that was the old tank now I'm gonna show you the new and improved ecosystem so this is the overview I took out the driftwood that I s talked about Java ferns are all here Anubias over there floating plants on top hopefully they don't get eaten if anything gets eaten I'm pretty sure it's the floating plants that will go first see my Gorami is quite excited about them he's been nipping at them I'm not worried about him he can't eat up all these plants I'm worried about Tom the turtle my Poltos clearing out the nitrates here man I like this tank it looks so different and in fact despite looking um, like despite looking even more crowded in a sense that there are more plants around and more dense vegetation at the back it actually looks like there's more space as well because I cleared out that driftwood that was sticking all the way out to the front so now my fishes and especially my turtle gets a lot more swimming space and the fishes get a lot more hiding spots as well so I'm pretty sure they're gonna love this new tank because the shy fish would definitely get spaces to hide so I hope Tom will enjoy um, the extra space he's gonna get and uh, I'm definitely loving it I'll just give you leave you guys with some awesome montage so check it out We'll keep you guys updated on how the tank goes, uh, how the night my nitrate. So if you guys don't know, waste is measured in it's called nitrate. So the nitrate level will go very high if you have a lot of waste being produced and not removed. I will be tracking my nitrate level and I will keep you guys updated on how it goes. If you want to see more of this kind of videos, if you want to see more of my aquarium tour videos, which I will be doing of the place where I bought all these plants sometime in the future then remember to subscribe and uh, do give me a big fat thumbs up because I like my tank I hope you like it too if you do big fat thumbs up that's all for today I'll see you in the next video <laughs>